kind of what I'm saying. Masculinity shows up ready to give, to protect, to serve, to provide. Um, the masculine energy creates a stable, I'll say container, although some may not like that word, a framework for the feminine to express itself, a safety net for the feminine to express itself. And it comes in strength, it comes in protection, it comes in, in provision. And, and, and in order to do that, you first have to own yourself. You have to take responsibility for yourself. You have to take accountability for yourself. But it's, that's the inner work, right? And that's, to me, when the masculine shows up, they show up with accountability and responsibility. It's not blaming others. It's not blaming society. It's holding the line. And there's a, there's a, when you have masculine, when the masculine is working in function with itself, it's beautiful. When you see men working together to protect, to provide, it's a powerful force. When you see the masculine dance with the feminine, it's incredible. The masculine and the feminine are at their best when they're dancing together, right? And they're, they're opposite but equal forces that create magic when they come together. But in order to do that, again, the masculine shows up. Characteristics of the masculine is accountability, responsibility, discipline, um, fairness, more principled-based decisions. They're not impulsive, not emotional. Um, there's more uh, rationale and logic to how the, the, the masculine shows up, which is, those are all really important traits. Uh, the feminine tends to show up in the opposite, which is also really important and really beautiful, but it has its own strengths and characteristics. And so it's really celebrating both. And we've gotten to, you know, you hear this term toxic masculinity a lot uh, in our society and a demeaning of the masculine, so much so that I think boys are lost on what does it mean to be masculine? What is masculine energy? And to think that if you're strong, if you're assertive, if you're aggressive, that that's negative. And it isn't. Those are very beautiful traits and throughout history have very been very important traits. It isn't the trait that is wrong. Uh, it is what you do with it. Where something becomes toxic is when you you don't know any other way to be and you're misusing those strengths, right? Or you're using them to manipulate or to abuse or as a way to, to hold power over people. Right? And that happens both in the masculine and the feminine. There's a reason why we say poison is a woman's weapon because it's another form of manipulation. It's another form of, of control. Just women tend to be not as physically strong so they don't use aggression for their end. They use other means, and usually their words, their body, their emotions, and their influence, and you see a lot of that. Right? We don't talk about how negative that is right now. We eventually will, because it will become more obvious. But both feminine and, mem and, uh, feminine and masculine have toxic pos uh, potential, and they also have beautiful, magical potential. And I'm hoping we move back to a, a, a time where we celebrate the beauty and magic of both sexes and both of those energies instead of focusing on what we label toxic simply because we don't like it.